I took my mother, took my father, took my wife, I took my mother-in-law, um, I took my sister. I went on the Hajj with um, my best friend and my husband. My dad, my mum, my brother and my other brother and my sister and my cousin and my um, auntie and my uncle and my grandma and my other cousin. Yes. The ihram, uh, you have to have that on, which for men is two pieces uh, of cloth, uh, very, very basic. Uh, that's what you have to wear. The two white sheets that are resembling the shroud that people will wear on the day they die and the day they're resurrected. When I was at Heathrow Airport, I decided to put it on then. A lot of people decided to put it on just before they reached the boundary, so they, everybody rushes to the bathrooms uh, on the aeroplane. And you're surrounded by people from all over the world, um, that are dressed in exactly the same thing, so you've left all your material things behind. No rich, no poor, like everyone's um, the same, equal, um, uh, like equal in the Muslim religion. Yeah, it was very strange wearing two towels, basically. When I went, I just burst into tears and I cried for 15 minutes. When you stand on the plane of Arafa and you see three, four million other people around you, it's, it's just an amazing sight. It was the first time in my life something had really just hit me to the core. A profound spiritual experience um, and my perspective about life had totally changed. And so all you do is you eat, you pray, you sleep. That is it. I just find it really beautiful and also the fact that everybody around me was doing that too. The entire experience of such a journey, as if it is growing on me, and in return I'm growing to live up to its, uh, if you like, to its demands, spiritual demands. If you want to know how the Day of Judgment feels, you go for Hajj because it's just between you and God. I actually forgot that I had three children that I'd left behind. And after I'd finished the Hajj, I thought, oh my God, I wonder how my three kids are. I wanted to go up the mountain to this cave called Gahira, but um, my dad said it was too steep and I was too young. So when I'm older, I want to do that. It's meant to cleanse all your sins. And <laughs> that's how I felt and that's how I still feel. Sorry. Spiritually, I bought an awful lot back from Mecca. <laughs> I didn't really bring back tangible objects. It was more mental and psychological. I try and bring something different back every year. Dates, of course. Dates. I brought a lot of dates from Medina. Some Zamzam water. Zamzam water. Zamzam water. The one piece of jewellery I bought myself back as a way of memento is, is the locket I'm wearing at the minute. <laughs>